Daisy chains and sweet champagne And two days alone with you Not too far from the city by car Oh, maybe we can make a more romantic trip by train To the country That's where I want to be with you For the week It's working morning everyone say hi to shadow as she checks out the wheelbarrow say good morning smoky mm. it was a frosty morning again we got beautiful clear skies it is the today is the 21st it is the shortest day of the year and we've been kind of busy the last week or so I had a fire in the Greenhouse the last couple nights we're down in the 20s. We've been doing some other things and We're getting ready to go back to work on this cheese press <coughs> Need some more Sun So this is going to be part three. We had all that rain and that hole Developed for whatever reason there must have been a tree here at one point in time that decomposed out of the way and left a big hole because we were putzing along with it. Where's the handle? Here's it. And there. I don't know if you can see the difference, but just to see how deep that hole was, I stuck it in up to here. Now it's since collapsed. Oh no, never mind. There you go. That uh, could be a little disconcerting. <laughs> sure, why that happened. Oh, look at that. All right, we'll have to clean that up. <laughs> so this is some really hard packed clay, folks. And I, I know some of you may remember me discussing um, how the water's flowing through here. A couple of years ago when we first started cutting trees around here and looking at the garden and getting dirts and soils figured out, this clay, once a tree puts its roots down and grows and develops uh, clay's not something that's just going to automatically collapse down in it so there were all through the ground here wherever the trees have rotted there's a network of underground um, channels where are you running to uh, for water to flow so around behind the back of the cabin up in front and all um, it, it, we had water that would just percolate out of the ground every time we get heavy rains because it was coming into the ground up up the hill and popping out down the hill. Kind of kind of interesting. Makes you wonder is somebody going to pop her head out here? <laughs> Hope not. All right, so today is <clears throat> part Let's see what we got here. Part 3. And it, hopefully it'll be the completion because all we got left to do is some finishing work we've been working on it uh, and when I edited my last video I left out two clips so in order to kind of get that information in you're gonna go back in time um, I'll send you back in time about a week or so to when we had the those recorded and then we'll pick up here and while you're watching that I'm gonna get this out and then he'll we'll be back with you in a few clips so that we can catch up with where we've gone with uh, prepping the wood and stuff and yeah there you go today we should be a can we finish it today I think we could I think we could so welcome to Heritage Homestead Creations go back in time check out these two clips that I did not get edited into the other video it's okay. and uh, we'll be right back with you uh, to finish this up all right folks another gorgeous day I think we might get some clouds in tomorrow but we have plenty of sun on one, one 375 watt panel that is providing all the energy that we need for what we got going on I want to do a quick review here as we begin part three of where I've gotten to uh, I don't have a lot of time maybe another hour 
of sun before the shade hits it and I want to get as much done but I want to show you where we're gotten to um because we pretty much got our basic shape so there's the plunger or the press rod and you can see the one side so what I did was um, I ended up sharpening the um, the whole drill or the whole saw and I got it pretty sharp and it took out the burn and I've since sanded that one spot pretty good um, and then uh, so I, I did it and I, uh, I cut the holes and I notched out and where are the pieces here they are and you see that burn on there pretty nasty but I cut them out with the uh, jigsaw uh, it did pretty good but I wanted a truer uh, cut so I put in a edge cutting straight bit into my router and then uh, butted it up against the fence very carefully the the router table fence that I've got sitting over there and and then ran it down and that cleaned it up pretty good and then I took that out and I put in one of my sanding drums right here and we had that sitting in here and I've gone through every one of the slotted holes and we got it pretty good so there's the the other side okay uh, do have one issue I erred on which one is it this one so this is one set um, must be where did I do that at? I boo-booed up pretty good because it was pretty sharp. It must have been... Where the heck did I do it? I know I did it on one of these. And I have not cleaned it up yet. It's one of the... Uh, nope. Where did I do it? I know I did it somewhere. I was so mad at myself. It's got to be, I don't know what the heck, where the heck I did it. It's the big hole. It's the big slot. And I'll show you a tip. Or, oh, there it is. It's real hard to see here. Let's step out in the light. Now that I've cut out, there you go. Now that I cut it out, it being as sharp as it was, it was really grabby. And I had it, uh, just as I was trying to push the drill through the hole, it grabbed a hold of the top. And because I did not have the center hole in here, I was trying to clean up the burr, burn on it. Oh, there's the burn, the bad burn. And it grabbed a hold of it, and it really just scuffed up the edge on it. And there was another issue I um, did on this piece. And I got a gouge in it dummy me uh, because of the one inch bit here uh, I, I went to slide it under and it just scratched that little tip of that bit just scratched so what I'm gonna do um, is because I got whatever thickness I want to on these because I made my own wood and I can I'm gonna take the planer and I'm just gonna run it through and I'm gonna skim off just a, a light bit to clean up that in that and nobody will ever know the difference but we're pretty much there uh, I got the um, dados where's the piece here I got the dados for the top guide piece to sit in like such you see so let me set that there and now let me zoom on out you can see there you go. The one thing I have left to cut, and I'm going to wait a bit, is the corners out on here so that this will ride in here. And I was waiting, I was waiting to cut these uh, until I did until I got the corners rounded off. I want to round off these corners before I notch this out right here and here, so it sits in there for a guide <coughs> until I, I go ahead and round these corners off. And uh, that way I can uh, not have to worry about chip out or break out. It's, it's just an easier way to go about it. So uh, that's about all I have left to do is go through and round over everything. Uh, 
except one thing. All right, so uh, I do have to uh, nicely sand and round all all of these rounded. So those two, those two, that one, and this one uh, have to get rounded off. So, uh, or excuse me, have to get sanded smooth round. And then we're set to do the round over. I'll run the majority of all of these edges. All of these things will be rounded over nicely. Uh, just to make it nice to touch and feel and, 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 and hold and put together. And we're almost there. Um, yeah, we're almost there. I'm very happy with the way these came out. See that guide will go down there very nicely. And uh, so let me get that done and then all that will be left is, is, is essentially finishing it and then um, uh, yeah, assembly. Finishing and assembly. So th hopefully this is a quick part three uh, because I'm pretty much there. I know it looks kind of like a jumble but you know it's just the shop I've got here and that's the way it works. So uh, let me get these sanded here, 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 and here, and here. Uh, then the quarter round run on, run on it and uh, then we'll look at it uh, just before we um, uh, finish this thing. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right. Wow. That was uh, crazy for me. Um, uh, I got everything kind of laid out here, and we'll talk about it in a second. But I rushed to get as much done as before the uh, we lost the sun. And I um, actually pulled my battery bank down a little bit more than I'd like to, but it is what it is. Um, so, let's do a quick review uh, and call this the end of part two. Um, I've already gone ahead and picked up and put up every everything, and I've got everything laid out here on the table so that you can see what we've accomplished. And, and in my hurriedness, which wasn't a very grand thing to do I made a few errors uh, because I was just going along and uh, doing instead of thinking and that happens and it's okay and then there was a couple things I left off so I went and did most all of the roundovers which actually looks pretty good um, there, there's the notches that you hang your weights on our little push rod will go down there that's a nice snug fit I really like it push rods turned out really really well I'll have to sand it really good to clean up some of the overcut from the round over bit uh, on this set so here over is one and then there over is the other on this one I forgot to get this one I missed it uh, so I didn't round it over um, and I did not round over this one. So this will go in here like that. Nice and tight and snug. Help guide it really well. And I should have rounded that over. So I got that one to round over, that one to round over. And uh, this one I did the round over, but I missed the inside of this one. And then on this one, I got so crazy. Hello, Shadow. Hello, Midnight. And Smokey's over there. I got so crazy, I rounded, rounded over the ends that sit in the dado. Where they're supposed to be nice and square. Like you see here. So that they sit in the dado nice and flat right there. Let's get the lighting right. So it should sit like that. Um, well... In all reality, it it isn't going to matter if I can get these screws in there, uh, you know, drilled in the side so that you know the let's see we we'll get that on there like that. Uh, you know, it'll it'll sit fine. And considering I want to be able to ship this thing if I'm going to build some of these, uh, all this rounded smooth stuff will be just fine. And once these two pieces get right there and right there get screwed down like that actually this will go like that um, that'll be strong because they'll be screwed in really well back here All right so uh, I'm not that worried about it although I 
should have slowed down but that sun going down kind of uh, pushed me a little bit more than I should have uh, it's very short days here in the sun when you're on solar uh, I still have to still have to notch out uh, these corners right here so that it will ride in that slot so I've, I waited on this so that I could get it com nearly completely done so I could check my marks and these marks aren't exactly on so uh, it's a good thing I did that otherwise they're they're pretty good uh, so there's a couple minor things that I need to do but everything is looking spectacular um, I'm happy with it even though I've uh, done a few oopsies uh, normally nobody would ever know that because I wouldn't have told you but you know I you know be honest nobody's perfect and uh, just things to think about when you do this slow down slow down slow down whenever you have a chance um, what else do we have to say um, everything's pretty good I covered all the things oh and the um, the two pieces I was showing you, like this one right here, where it had a little bit of a, a dig in it. I ran it through the planer and cleaned that one off. And I think it was this one right here. Yeah, yeah it was this one right here that had those scratches on it from where I boogered it up. I ran it through the planer and took like a 64th off of it just to clean it up and looks really good so what's left is for me to uh, do the last little bit of roundovers so that hole that hole and that hole we'll get them all and uh, notch out these two pieces here we'll get that and then uh, a substantial amount of sanding I'll do a lot of sanding to smooth it out I want these things just so soft to the touch and comfy to work with we're going to get that done, and once we do, um, I think I think we'll be in really good shape to throw a solid coat of poly on it. I want to poly these up real good, especially our uh, pressing board where the cheese will sit here and there, and we'll we'll uh, we'll get it uh, polyed good. Uh, I, I've you know kind of trash the idea of putting a little groove around here for uh, catching the the way uh, I think if we just just poly the heck out of the thing um, I mean it's not like this is a cutting board or something where you're going to be digging into it um, we want to keep the uh, or have the ability to um, give it good rinse off and wipe down with a um, um, dish sponge or towel or something to clean off the way so it don't get stinky <laughs> you know and there you go uh, tell me what you think any thoughts any um, uh, anything you want to say uh, let me know what you think and um, we'll call this good for part two 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 and we got one more part three where we'll finish it finish up the sanding the notching the rounding and uh, do an assembly on it, uh, an initial assem assembly on it, and then we'll pull everything apart and uh, give it er everything a really nice coat of polyurethane so, <coughs> so that it's um, each piece is individually, each piece is individually uh, uh, protected on all edges and all surfaces from potential um, absorption of uh, liquids like whey or something like that so wonderful stuff say goodbye we'll catch you again on part three and we'll talk to you and see you there bye bye got enough maybe i don't know there's a pile of them there all right it's about lunch time i'm getting ready to break we have gone through and finish drilling all the holes. Ooh, I gotta put the countersink on that one. Uh, so the bolts will go through. This is kind of cool. It goes through there. Kaboom. I need to go to the store and pick up some wing nuts for that side. And here's the other bolt right here for this one to go through there and there and that will go through there so we're we're getting there we're almost done T has got 
uh, everything sanded and uh, I've finished all the uh, round overs that I missed I already assembled this one with the two sides and the guides in there so we've pre-drilled them I had them screwed together I've taken apart she needed to sand this a little bit more I still have some holes to drill down here like those two up there that hold the uh, upper brace in pretty much there I see a nice little countersink bit sets these um, screws down in there very nicely so that will go on the bottom this one's screwed not screwed in but it's uh, pre-drilled ready to go so everything's pretty much there uh, we've been sanding she's been double checking and sanding here and there and we're getting set up and ready so that we can start polying and let's take a walk over here so she's going to set a table up here it's kind of cool out here I think the high is supposed to only get around 50 so she's going to set the table up here this area right here in front of the cabin with all the sun on it the a little bit more radiational heat from the deck in the house so I put uh, the bases over here and I'm just gonna direct glue them on well, hello mittens Did you have your nice jaunt we saw her on up the road there but uh, there's a little more heat here like I said so we're uh, I'm gonna let these sit in hey you wanna say hello hello mittens doesn't normally join the the uh, videos normally it's shadow anyway uh, she's gonna have the um, stuff set up there for a uh, good coat of poly uh, waiting on those to dry and we'll poly them and we're pretty much there so I think what we're gonna do is take a lunch here and get everything polyed up throughout the rest of the afternoon and I think we're gonna finish these uh, pretty quickly here I've got to, um, I've got to put a countersink on that, but, you, but that looks good. It's fine. It's fine. All good. That's good. 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 Everything's done. Pieces are all made. The only thing I haven't done is drilled the holes, and uh, for the screws and countersunk them like these for the base to mount it to the base, and I think we'll do that. Maybe do that a little bit later. Um, so I'm not. I'm, I'm ready to. I'm ready to start saying polyurethane on everything folks yeah so it's been about th two three hours of running generator running the sanders running the belt sanders uh, finishing all the round round overs so this is a little press foot goes on got to mark and drill this one haven't done that one yet but anyway um, we're pretty much there folks I think we're doing pretty good we got the hardware save the um, uh, the wing nuts. We'll have to go pick up some wing nuts. I don't know if we'll do that today or not. Because I, I want to get I want to get all these polyed. So we may not leave. It might be tomorrow or whatever. But anyway, uh, we'll be back. And hopefully uh, when we get back, they're polyed, they're dry, and we have assembled so that you can see the end results of... That's the goal. Yep. Be done with it. We got Christmas coming up, and one of these has to be delivered before Christmas. So... <laughs> We're getting it. All right, back in a bit. All right, folks. T's got all the pieces laid out here. She's getting ready to put a nice coat of keep it clean on it. Get some keep it clean on there. And so we got the two sets here. Of course, I've got the two bases sitting there drying. So we're going to eat lunch while they're drying. Give them a little more time to actually dry. And then, uh, then she'll come out here and put a coat on each side. We'll flip them and put another coat on there. But I got a question for you. Got a question for you, so you can see the results of where we've gotten so far. Um, I know what you can see if you go online and you do a quick search for uh, Dutch style Dutch style 
cheese press. Okay. And you can see the ones that are that you can purchase. Of course, the one that I showed you the picture of this with. And uh, you can see the prices on it. So we got two of them here. One is going to be for us to keep, and one is a Christmas present for somebody who's going to be making cheese locally, goat cheese. And uh, my question for you is this. Between now and when you see it, because we'll get it polyed and we'll show you here at the end of the video what they look like assemble, assembled and put together and everything's done. You'll see the completed one here shortly. I want you to tell me what you think what you think these things could or should sell for. I want you to leave a comment in the, in the uh, comment section to tell me how much now set aside that you know a uh, dollars dying prices are going to go up and that price could change but right now at, at today's dollars with what's out there with the quality of work that I've got the fact that all of this is beautiful uh, quarter song so you're seeing all the flucking in it and when when we get the poly in it boy this this is really gonna stand out all the red oak character is gonna really stand out and it's gonna be beautiful so um, Tell me your thoughts, folks. You see how long it's taken us to build this. You see about the amount of hours. You see the quality, the, the high-end quality of wood that's being used. And you'll see here shortly um, what it's going to look like once we get these all put together and assembled. And I want you to tell me, if we go to sell them, what kind of number uh, should we put on it? You tell me. Alrighty, T has gone through and given a coat to either side. Now we're just waiting for the last, last bit of it. Oh, shadow, shadows in the shadow. Just waiting for the last bit of it to um, to dry up real good. I think we're pretty much there. So um, looking good, looking good. And then uh, we'll do assembly here in just a second. Let's let this tackiness kind of dry up. Yeah, it's still tacky. We'll let it dry up a little bit more. All right, folks, we're running out of light. Had some visitors, but we've been out here assembling. Assembling. It's got a booger on it. A what? Huh? What? It's got a booger on it. On the thread. On the thread. Yeah. I had to run up the store. I went ahead and run up and got some go. wing nuts. We and we just did assembly of both of these. Let's get these drawing sticks out of here. So I got screws, uh, liquid refreshments, and tables warped as the Dickens. Oh, and uh, well, look at all the work we've done on it, all the paint and stuff so, so that's over here. All right, let's get this out of the way so I can see what the heck I'm doing. All right, here we go. Need some sort of epic montage or something. I'm not going to go through all that. What's epic? What's epic? Look at that follower board. Keeping that thing straight in the press over top of the cheese. The uh, little press disc centered nicely. Big screws can be disassembled for packing and shipping. A couple quick bolts. We we're talking. She's like, "Well, how do we put a? You don't you don't need a washer here because it's not like you're going to be tightening it. Washers are good for distributing pressure when you're tightening down, but." You don't need to tighten it. This is just sitting in here. The pressure is on the inside of the hole. And all right, so one load of pressure. This is two times. So you got two times the distance, which is a little close to the face there. But it, it will be okay. Two, two and a half three, three and a half, and four, based on distance from your 
distance from your um, pivot point along your lever arm and down your lever. So uh, you'd hang different weights on this to push on it. And uh, obviously it will require, walk over here carefully, different locations in different holes. Now this one was really snug. I might have to take and sand that a little bit. You can see it real sand. Uh oh! Ah, I got a phone call to get. So let's wrap this up. What do you think, folks? Two absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous cheese presses. Bada bing, bada moon. All right. I got to call my buddy back. Let's wrap this up and say, see y'all later. See y'all later.